Kabalia is a cultural, natural and historical region in northern Algeria and the homeland of the Kabayal people. It is part of the Tel Atlas mountain range and is located at the edge of the Mediterranean Sea. Kabalia covers two provinces of Algeria, Tizi Uzo and Bejia. Gore National Park and Dujura National Park are also located in Kabalia. Kabalia was a part of the Kingdom of Numidia. List of empire, dynasties created by the Kabayal people The history of Kabaili started to appear in the classical books during the 4th century AD with the revolt of the commander Firmus and his brother Gildan against the empire. The Vandals, a Germanic people, established a kingdom in North Africa in 435. They were conquered by the East Roman Empire and afterward assimilated into the local Berber population of Kabalia. During the rule of the Romans, Byzantines, Vandals and the Carthaginians, the Kabayal people were one of the few Imazigan in North Africa who remained independent. The Kabayal people were so resistant that even during the Arab conquest of North Africa they still had control and possession over their mountains. In fact it was only until 1857 that Kabalia as a whole was fully and entirely conquered and subdued. Between 902 and 909 the Fatimid state had been founded by the Kutama Berbers from Little Kabylie, whose conquest of Afrikia resulted in the creation of the Caliphate. After the conquest of Afrikia the Kutama Berbers conquered the realm of the Rustamids on the way to Sizilmasa which they also then briefly conquered and where Abdullah al-Mahdi Billa, who at the time was imprisoned was then freed and then accepted as the imam of the movement and installed as the caliph, becoming the first caliph and the founder of the ruling dynasty. The historian Heinz Ham describes the early Fatimid state as being a hegemony of the Kutama and Sanhaja Berbers over the eastern and central Maghrib, and Prof. Dr. Loimaya states that rebellions against the Fatimids were also expressed through protest and opposition to Kutama rule. The weakening of the Abbasids allowed Fatimid Kutama power to quickly expand and in 959 Ziri Ibn Manad, Jawahar the Sicilian and a Kutama army conquered Fez and Sizil Masa in Morocco. In 969 under the command of Jawahar, the Fatimid Kutama troops conquered Egypt from the Iqsidids. The Kutama Berber general Jafar Ibn Fala was instrumental in this success. He led the troops that crossed the river Nile and according to al makrizi captured the boats used to do this from a fleet sent by Ikshidar loyalists from Lower Egypt. The Kutama general Jafar then invaded Palestine and conquered Ramla, the capital. He then conquered Damascus and made himself the master of the city and then he moved north and conquered Tripoli. It was around this time period that the Fatimid Caliphate reached its territorial peak of 4,100,000 km2. A Berber family emerged as formidable leaders in the unique Berber form of elected delegates form of government, the Zirids, beyond their immediate Zirid territory. Another arch and family Hammadid and its associates emerged in Kabalia with influence covering most of today's Algeria, whereas the Zirids territory extended eastward to cover the area of modern Tunisia. Both the Hammadid and Zirid empire as well as the Fatimids established their rule in the Maghreb countries. The Zirids ruled land in what is now Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, Libya, Spain, Malta and Italy. The Hammadids captured and held important regions such as Wagla, Constantine, Sfax, Susha, Algiers, Tripoli and Fez establishing their rule in every country in the Maghreb region. The Fatimids conquered all of North Africa as well as Sicily and parts of the Middle East. During the regency of Algiers, most of Kabalia was independent. Kabalia was split into two main kingdoms. The Kingdom of Kuku in modern Tizi Uzo, and the Kingdom of Eight Abbas in modern Bejia. Though the region was the last stronghold against French colonization, the area was gradually taken over by the French after 1830. Despite vigorous local resistance by the local population led by leaders such as Fadmar and Sumer and Chek Mokrani, until the Battle of Icheradan in 1857 marked a decisive French victory, with sporadic outbursts of violence continuing as late as Mokrani's rebellion in 1871.
Much land was confiscated in this period from the more recalcitrant tribes and given to French. Pied Noirs. Many arrests and deportations were carried out by the French in response to uprisings. Mainly to New Caledonia colonization also resulted in an acceleration of the immigration into other areas of the country and outside of it. Algerian migrant workers in France organized the first party promoting independence in the 1920s. Messali Hajj, Imache Amar, C. Gilani, and Belkassam Radief rapidly built a strong following throughout France and Algeria in the 1930s and actively trained militants who became key players during the struggle for independence.